afternoon. My name is Terry and I am from Southeast Michigan. I say Southeast Michigan because I come from Oakland, Macomb, Wayne, Lenaway, and Livingston counties. I have, my heart is in Washtenaw County, so if anybody's there, thank you. Um, my life can be summed up as adventurous. I am a survivor of many things, child abuse, homelessness, domestic violence, sexual assault, and cancer. I sit on many committees and I am on the board of directors for a few of them uh, that reflect what I have survived. My voice was stifled for many years and now I, it represents the voice of many people that have and are walking in my shoes. My survivorship started when I was four and a half. At 18 years old, I was surviving on the streets where it was safer than the home I grew up in. By the age of 23, I had my first child, and yes, I was homeless. Couch surfing at friends and family's homes. When I was in my mid-30s, I had enough of all the violence. I dedicated myself to my children's future of stability and breaking the chain of abuse. We were lucky. Because of the violence, I had to use a walker and a townhouse was open to us in Maple Village. It was designed for someone who had disabilities. I fit that bill. We were at Catherine Cobb Domestic Violence Shelter until all my utility bills from the past were paid up to date. Thank God for Community Action Agency paying all of my past utilities. Thank God we could get project-based voucher townhouse. Thank God my children didn't have to move into another home and that we stayed in a low income housing unit for six years. One more thank God of many. Thank God we met the man of my childhood dreams, my husband for the last nine years. We have been stably housed for the last 15 years. Recovering from abuse, homelessness, and dreaming about stability allowed us to meet many supporters. Paying only $7 a month for rent allowed me to afford utilities and food. I had the worst credit, and I don't think anybody else can beat me on that one. Um, I pinky promised with the townhouse manager that I would never be late on any of my bills. I kept that promise. They kept their word. My children and I were recovering from the past. I met Kay, Beth, and Candy. They gently guided us with supportive hands to give us a chance to have our voices be heard. Security we never knew existed. And completing our education so we wouldn't be failing statistics. If we had never run away from our abuser, we would have been out so many gifts that many people take for granted. Our voices would have never been heard and our ideas would have been stifled. I dream that someday many more survivors will believe their dream of housing in a safe environment to be achieved. Those survivors can continue to recover and not lose housing based on their measly income that getting keys to their own place will allow them the opportunity to roll on the carpet and break the chain of trauma. It is important to continue programs and policies in order for that to happen for others who are tired, hungry, cold, and hurting. I ask that if you hear my voice, please consider supporting all the programs and policies that make it happen for us. The programs that are needed to allow others who are currently walking in our shoes. They existed for us to run away from abuse and trauma. They led us to a chance of recovery, stability, and most of all, to believe our dreams. Thank you for considering what I've said important.